We're making some spinning artwork here involving a small toy motor. First we'll mix some quick setting epoxy. The epoxy comes in two tubes and you mix even parts from each tube. I've cut out the majority of stirring. The instructions have you stir for one minute. Once that's done, you can apply the epoxy to a gear and place that gear onto the motor's rod. Then place the motor somewhere to let the epoxy set. Now we'll need a stand for the motor. Here I'm using a plastic cup. We're going to make a hole in the cup that will fit the motor. Any motor that will run off a AA battery or 1.5 volts will do. You can poke a hole and then widen that hole with scissors. Doing it this way can take a little while. As you can see, this activity is pretty hands-on. I like it that way. You get to see the process of taking things that seem unrelated and changing their shapes and putting them together to make something totally new. For example, I got this old motor from a toy store. It came out of a broken toy. Plus, we're going to use glow-in-the-dark paint, which is about as cool as flying cars when I was a kid. I still like it now. Okay, now that the motor fits the hole, we need to do something so that it doesn't just fall through the hole up to the attached gear. We'll put a rubber band around it to make it a little wider in the middle. Now the motor sits on the cup the way we want. Alright, grab the glow-in-the-dark paint and make your design. Once that's done, put a Velcro sticker on the other side of the circular poster board. I tried a few different designs with the paint. First I tried a spiral, but the motor was spinning so fast that it didn't look like a spiral. Then I, I decided to just have one row of lines and dots toward the center like you saw before. I thought it'd be fun to have that design create circular streaks when the motor spun, but then there was so little glow in the dark paint that it wasn't bright enough for the video. So that's why I added more paint. Now we can add the other Velcro sticker to the gear and connect wires to the motor with alligator clamps. It actually took a lot longer than this to get the wires and clamps through that hole. A less bulky way of connecting the wires would really help. After that, you can connect it to the battery. Okay, let's switch to normal speed and put it all together. Attach the poster board to the gear, then connect the wires to the battery. I've used electrical tape to secure the wires. Put the whole assembly under a cardboard box with a small space to see through. Also, I'm using a black light so the glow shows up super bright and can be captured better on video. The glow is extra cool with the black light, but you don't need it for a good glow in person. Alright, all that's left now is to enjoy the show.